he's running for office and it looked like he was in a world of trouble. He was in the 40s in approval rating. He was way behind to his uh, possible Republican opponents. All of a sudden, Harry Reid came out swinging. So first, in the primary rounds, when the Republicans were fighting against each other, he took down his main opponent, the one that everybody had him losing to in the polls, because she said, hey, you know what? Uh, we didn't have to do health care reform. We could have done things the old ways. We could have taken the chicken to the doctor and be like, all right, now check, give me a checkup for the chicken, right? Now, that was an absurd thing to say, but a politician who doesn't have the right instincts wouldn't have pounced like Harry Reid did. Harry Reid punished her. They ran ad after ad, every media service, had <laughs> chicken, that's the chicken lady, <laughs> loser, right? Until she got so overwhelmed by that, and then she responded, and she doubled down on the chicken thing, and then they ran more chicken ads, and then the Republican opponents were hitting her, and next thing you know, boom, she lost. She lost in the primaries, gone, eliminated. So, and the Tea Party lady, Sharon Angle won, and now Harry Reid's coming after her, guns blazing. So, now get a load of this ad that he put together. Let's watch it. I've been in Nevada law enforcement for 17 years. Carrying a gun isn't just a part of my job. It's a constitutional right that I believe in. But Sharon Angle goes way over the line when she keeps saying, This Congress keeps going the way it is. People are really looking toward those Second Amendment remedies. It's crazy. But what she's actually talking about is armed resistance. Look, I'm a member of the NRA and a Republican. But that kind of talk is dangerous and way too extreme. I'm Harry Reid, and I approve this message. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I love the second part of that. <laughs> when you think the line's going away, no, no, he's going to come back and hit you again. Uh, Harry's <laughs> messing her up, man. Okay? And you know what he's doing? And part of the reason we're doing this whole story is because it's instructive about politics. As I'm watching this campaign unfold, I think, you know what, laser-like focus, either on a positive note for yourself, you know, when, for example, remember Bill Clinton famously put up the sign, uh, it's the economy stupid, so he knew that, hey, look, focus on the economy, focus on the economy, and talk about how you're going to get people's jobs back, get the economy back, etc., and that worked for him. Or in this light, negative campaigning, chicken, 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 right? Or in this case, crazy, 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 crazy. I mean, he's hitting Sharon Angle with that crazy stick in 18 different ways. And in this case, he's saying, look, she's calling for armed resistance. That's mental. Now, the thing is, he's totally right. It is mental. But usually Democrats will take something like that, a gift wrapped up for them politically, and they'll toss it in the garbage and go, all right, how do I work with this Republican? Right? But look, when Harry's ass is on the line, he comes out, you know, basically his next ad is going to do this. That would be ironic, <laughs> given the Second Amendment issue, okay? But you got to give him credit, man. He's messing him up. And I think there's something to be learned from here. Look, the rest of the Democrats should, on two grounds, the rest of the Democrats in their elections should look at this example and go, all right, how can I pull, I can't believe I'm about to say this, how can I pull a Harry Reid and focus on one issue or one thing that they said wrong? Republicans do this all the time and just hammer them with it until they're, you know, pulverized politically. And then number two, hey, why don't we try that on policy grounds? When you have a debate with the Republicans on whatever it is, financial reform, health care, whatever it is, right? Just take it, like for example, I know I keep coming back to it just because it's so symbolic and representative. On the public option, you got the polls that are massively on your side. You got about a dozen polls where people, where a great majority of the country is saying they want the public option. Why don't you take that and beat the Republicans up with it? Social Security, they're coming after Social Security. They're saying we should cut benefits or raise the retirement age. Why don't you take that and beat them silly with it? I mean, come on. What to do? You take them out of the office and hit them with a stick a couple times. They will do. They will do. You see how it works for you in your local campaign. So why don't we do that on the policy level, on the national level? And, of course, that gets back to my old complaint, which is sometimes I'm not sure they want to do it. You know, that that's my issue with the Democrats. A lot of times, like, oh, oh, Republicans, oh, they twist my arm, what can I do? I mean, look, when they actually twist his arm and he thinks he might lose his race, Harry Reid knows what to do. He turns it around, he's like, well, sick to land, pulls a Steven Seagal, breaks their arms. So, all right, I mean, he looks to be in great shape now in Nevada. And I, I, I'm blown away by that, man. I mean, that's some old school politics, nicely done.